last time on the Cartographer. Zero Zero made an awesome jump, but failed, then decided to irritate Fohammer as a consequence, while Dashi unlocked a door and then promptly blew himself up in frustration. In this episode, Dashi takes a leaf out of Zero Zero's book and jumps off of something high and later contemplates his life decisions to this point, and Zero Zero discovers that ladders exist. Should we welcome everyone back? Yeah, why not? Okay, I'll let you take the lead. Sure, your channel. <laughs> hey everyone, welcome back to episode 5 of The Cartographer. We definitely haven't done this one before. No. It's fresh, no. what are you on about? Never, <laughs> ne never before seen. Nope. No, not at all. Not at all. I'm just this minute noticing that I can't hear the game. I've, I just can't hear the game at all anyway. I have the sound turned off. Enemy! Oh, that's right, we went to play in. Uh, remastered. I need to get used to that. It's a force of habit just to play in classic because I can see everything as I remember it. There we go. I got audio back. Okay, splendid. I can hear the menacing hum of this cavern. Okay, so how did we get in here? How is so, how did we fly in from, here? Because there's nowhere from, up or down. Yeah. So from what I from what I can figure out, if you look down just past the like the spinning circle, you can see like a cor they look like corridors like to the left and right. I'm guessing there's one below us and there's another one across like sort of just behind the pillar. I uh, I've just moved over to the side of the pillar. It just looks like a vent, I think. Is it just a vent? Ah! I went to turn my flashlight on and pressed up on the D-pad. Um but up on the D-pad just makes you walk forward it turns out. Oh yeah, you're right. I always thought they were Ah, uh, yeah. Okay, maybe not then. Right, well that cancels out what I was going to say. So I would I would assume that further down, obviously, okay, so halos have a honeycomb of different, like, tunnels and intersecting junctions. It, it was actually really um, noticeable on, um, what was it, Outpost Discovery, when they did the halo experience. You could tour the halo on a honeybee drone. Right. And um, you in that video, I'll, I'll, tr I'll see if I can splice in some footage. But in that in that footage, um, the drone went down inside the halo and through like tunnels and caverns inside the halo, where like there were tr strata sentinels and aggressor sentinels and all the sort of underlying support structure of the halo ring. And it even went out of a vent way that actually put it out onto the outside of the ring, like. And then it like it, the 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 honeybee sort of would fly around the edge of the ring. Like it's really it was really cool. I'll put I'll put footage in now. Okay, cool. But yeah, so I'm get I'm guessing it's the 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 tunnel system that was featured there basically is this is one access way into it. So the hole that we went into on the silent cartographer basically leads through some of the internal. Um, tunnels and comes out somewhere near the bottom of this one, and then Fohammer just flew up. Classic Fohammer. Mm. Uh, so if you look up, what's this dome above us? I I tried to figure this out last time we didn't play this, um, <laughs> <laughs> and I couldn't figure it out. It looks kind of like uh, the wind or like clouds or yeah, I don't know. It's I've looked at it a lot of times. I mean, I used to, as a kid, I used to sort of just walk around Halo CE and just look at stuff and try to figure out what it did. And this is one thing I could never, I could never like make heads to tails with exactly what it does or or its intended purpose. I don't even, I don't even know if I'm looking at. See, I, I don't know if they're windows or if that's just unless they're an energy. Like a, 
yeah, like an energy, energy barrier. barrier. Yeah. But then saying that, if you kind of look at if if you look at it like they are windows in theory, then something it does look a little bit like they're like fast moving clouds going you know, like passing by outside. Yeah, and that's of course what I was we thinking. are we are in the first kind of proper snow level of the game. So also, maybe also took like inclement weather. Yeah. Maybe this is an energy. Maybe this is a a weather generator. That makes sense. Some... I mean, this middle column can't just be a column for sure. Like, obviously, it's got a structural purpose of supporting what's up there, but at the yeah. same time, it can't just be a column. And the implication is that there is power going up it, hence the lights traveling upwards. Yeah. So yeah, maybe it's like a yeah, maybe it's like a, a weather generator on, on the other side of that outside. I suppose maybe there's some sort of array or something like that that would then change the the weather patterns somehow. <laughs> Do you reckon the top spins is just a really big fuck off fan? <laughs> like a big uh it's one of the turbines that makes Halo fly or something. Yeah. Just a really big Terry's chocolate orange wrapper. <laughs> <laughs> it's kinda of like an ominous thing though, if you look at the center and sort of without following it around the side, if you just keep the crosshair on center, it's very ominous to look at the Outside of it, it's a very sort of daunting uh, structure. Yeah. And then, of course, you've got all these light, these what look like lights around the edges. Uh, these out here. In classic, they have a little symbol on them, but again. Yeah. That and that symbol, I thing. think, is reminiscent of the, the symbol that denotes a lift or an elevator. Yeah. I mean, in terms of purpose, that's what it does, yeah, but it could just be a reused asset in this case. Because I don't see any elevators around here, really. In fact, there's none anywhere really nearby. Yeah. Although it could just... Oh, instead of being a symbol for an elevator, it could denote floor. Like level, as opposed to the elevator itself. Oh, yeah. yeah that, because that yeah. fits in with uh, last week's episode. Yeah. That's a good shout, yeah. I get a cracked it, boys. Um, what also else just a little out? bit of like, oh, on, sorry. a little bit of installation zero zero lore. The color, the colors inside the the anniversary gra um, version of these lights on the side here, the orange on the outer rim and the cyan on the inner one, is exactly the same two shades that I use for my symbol. Huh? Is that where you got them from, by any chance? Yeah. Okay, that makes. Why well, you pulled it from a really small. Uh, a small location, didn't you? Yeah. Well, I like being obscure. Plus, it, I like the idea that, like, yeah, that basically my symbol could, in theory, look quite at home in the within the center hub of these lights. Yeah, it fits in directly with like the sort of forerunner aesthetic for sure. There's also a thing as well. If you look above the door in classic uh, graphics, if you look above the door, that sort of shape that's up there. Uh, yeah. Is it resembles the shape of the hard light shields that the watchers give to crawlers? I say crawlers because it's low down uh, in terms yeah. of like height. It's very si similar to that. I don't know if it's the same, but it just reminds me of that. And I will pull an image of that, which we will throw in now. Insulation, throw it, th throw it in. Okay, thank you. Oh! Ah! You said throw it. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> Leaving. Did you hit the ring? <laughs> no, I uh, I got close. I can go for it. Oh, it's more than your head there. I can go for the ring if you want. Do you reckon I can hit it? Go on. Bet you can't stick it. I forgot to jump. <laughs> I can probably bounce off this corner, though. Oh, no. If I put enough beans into it, maybe, but... Let's uh, push forth. God, the wind in this place. The sort of like two exhaled breath kind of sound. Yeah. Yeah, that noise. Yeah. Yeah, there's something really unsettling about that noise. Yeah, it's quite um, 
it's, it's it's an unnatural it's, noise, but it sounds so natural. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, it's, it's it sounds like it's it sounds almost like it's normal, but it's, it's sufficiently different enough to sound odd. Yeah, it's like the uh, it's like the flood. The noise <clears throat> of the flood make it sounds natural, but because we know the origin isn't, it's unsettling. They seem to have the entire yeah. region secure. Actually, also, a little, little bit of. Oh god, go sorry. On. No, you first. No, go on. No, you first. You first. No, you first. You first. Okay. Uh, <laughs> this this room is similar to the one that you see uh, that you saw in episode two of. Uh, mm, on the Halo, yeah. Yeah, this is directly underneath those uh, weird power pylons on. Um, that will the then shoot their beam all the way up and out. Yeah. Yeah. It's even got a hole in the roof there as well. Actually, it's got like the shape. Yeah. Huh. Hmm. Did yeah, I was just gonna up? say that um, little bit of um, little bit of behind the scenes. Um, Marty O'Donnell has since confirmed the way in which to make the noises of the flood is simply through breathing in. There you go. <laughs> that's, so yeah, like, that's how they like, did the noise for the clickers in The Last of Us as well. Like the like the little um, the little noises that they make when they're just like when they're not aggressing towards you. You know, when you you can, you can just hear them moving around that that weird kind of. <laughs> stuff yeah you know. yeah and then they've just a bit crushed it <clears throat> basically yeah that's kind of cool now you know how to make foley for your uh your next halloween video right mm. oh by yeah, the way i, I, I have yet to finish make... oh oh Ooh. oh that was disorienting so if you want to make uh or if i want to make that um yeah the halloween what special one into a fully animated I wonder if the um, video dude i would uh i would 100 love to watch that oh what are you doing people 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 really responded well to that, so. Yeah, I um, like I said, I've yet to, <laughs> I've yet to get through it. Just because, did you die? Yeah. Are oh, you trying to do the shortcut? No, I just, I just seen if I could actually make it, and I couldn't. I fell. <laughs> yeah, uh, I didn't, I didn't finish that just because it creeped me out a little bit. I'm like, oh. I'm, I'm not ashamed to admit that I am absolutely one of the most like easily scared people on the planet. I very nearly made it to the bloody floor that time. Jesus. Can you spawn in? Oh, you can. Okay. Yeah. I'm going to give up doing that now. <laughs> uh, hmm. Whee. Oh. That's a lot of grunts. So, yeah, we'll... Um, before someone comments i can hear you typing stop <laughs> so, listen okay good uh before someone comments about i'm going to talk about this bridge it's because there's two better ones that we'll talk about later yeah um oh yeah that's another tip but you can't really see it because this elite is through the wall but every elite in this game their eyes are the same color as their armor yeah which is cool so like uh elite zealots which are gold in this game. These aren't generals, these are zealots. Oh, you mm -hmm. can see it. his head's just wedged into his stomach. Oh, yeah. oh dude, that's <laughs> oh, got that's to be unpleasant. a new emote. That's got to be a new emote. From the angle I'm at. Like, over here. Yeah, look at that. That's got to be an emote. <laughs> <laughs> that's, yeah. come on, that, that's Hang Sunday, on. right? Yeah, that's got to be Sunday, yeah. That Sunday feeling. <laughs> when you know you got to go back to work the following day. Yeah. <laughs> so, that's, that's uh, Thursday when you think it's Friday. And your yeah. neck just sinks down, yeah. Yeah. But uh, yeah, this this elite eyes are golden in classic. But um, yeah, a common misconception is that these are elite uh, generals. They are not. They are, uh, in fact, zealots, just with the wrong colored armor. I'm I'm, I'm cor correct in saying that, right? Yeah. I also love the use of neon colors on them as well. Like the blue really stands out against the gold. That's lovely. It does, doesn't it? Yeah. I like I like that there's a, the obviously you can't see it at the moment, but the the symbol on their back. I mean, if you've got a grenade, we could see it. Uh, I don't have any grenades. Hmm. Yeah, the symbol on their back. I don't think that I, I can't remember the conclusion we came to when we uh, saved Captain Exposition. What was the conclusion we came to? Was it just the same across all of them? Yeah, it was the same. It's the same glyph across all of them. But I think I believe it only appears on higher-ranking elites. 
Huh. We fought every high-ranked elite in the game. Too much. I was just trying to hit him, that's all. <laughs> I thought you were trying to kill him. I was, I was going all out then. <laughs> you must oh. die from above. Oh, good music. Oh yeah, of course. I mean, I, uh, although strictly speaking, it's already debuted. How about that intro though? It's pretty damn good intro. We love it. Rock anthem for saving the world. Yeah, that's the. Uh Unpopular opinion again. I'm full of these apparently, but um, it's one of the better iterations of the main theme, just because again it's written. The, the main theme is written in E Dorian, um, and the first chord of that is an E minor, so they contrast each other really, really nicely. Um, as like sort of a darker uh, tone as opposed to the Steve Vai version, which is still really cool. Um, but I think it just gives that more sort of. It's got the, the ancient monks with a very modern rock theme without overshadowing or uh, overstepping its mark across the board. Are you uh, bouncing to... Uh... Yeah. <laughs> I can't I can't hear it. Like, I've got my, like, say my sound's off until I can... Uh... Just but, stop now. <laughs> yeah, I, I've got my uh, wireless earphones. They just arrived. Um, but I don't know if they've got charged on. I haven't even opened the box yet. That's oh, okay. my gift. That's my gift for. Uh... Oh no, we're not doing that shit again. <laughs> I'm not going through that bloody rigmarole with you. No, nope, you're not going anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> Blocked. Denied. Expelliarmus. Right, this elevator is really cool. I actually really like this elevator. Yeah. It sounds dumb, but it's the way it sort of bounces when you activate it. We can step over here. Like, it's the way it bounces, like, it goes down below where it needs to go, and then goes back up. Yeah. And there's something really satisfying about that. It sounds dumb, but it's, it's one of the things that, uh, just makes me really doom, like this game. Doom, 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 Sleeping grunts. Doom, 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 doom. Man, I'm really looking forward to the uh, the next episode of this as well. Where we oh, three, four, three. yeah, where we literally go to hell. Yeah, quite literally. So again, these rooms are quite similar. So, do we know what purpose these rooms serve? We looked at this one last time. It looked like some form of heat vent because there's steam or smoke coming up here yeah. the bottom is sort of grated well the thing is there's actually a room up there but um, I don't know if we can get to it or not or I don't think it's a to. room I think it's more so again more venting like I don't think it's meant for person access it's a small well, door compared to the rest well, I've just shot the glass out is there a way we can get up there maybe if one of us stand on the other one's head um uh, can you get up there? It might be possible from this side here. Um, oh, one sec, my screen's just gone off. I want to make sure I don't lose anything. Yeah, okay, it's good. Do, do, I'm just going to open do, up my uh, stream do, real quick, actually. Do, do, just because my TV goes idle, or my computer screen goes idle. Right. And when it goes idle, I don't want to run the risk that... Um... Oh, oh, oh up, but you can't boy. get up there. Um... Yeah, I just don't want to run the risk that I could. You need to not hit that lip at the beginning there. And get enough speed anyway. No! Oh. Man, this is this is a pretty good metaphor for like me doing anything, really. So, you're <laughs> almost there, and then it's, it's back downhill. Ah! Oh. No, I hit the lip. Oh, no, yeah, I it's really difficult to. But we'll come back to that at some point. Because <laughs> I mean, well, I don't I mean, think there's... there's anything up there. Yeah, truthfully. it just looks like there's something up in there, and there's something over here too. 
Yeah, I think one of the skulls is in one of those, actually. I think that's where one of the skulls is. I know it's in one of these, like, sort of weird dusty vents, but... <laughs> oh, I saw someone ask in the comment section, by the way. Um, do we ever... Uh, will we ever consider looking at the uh, multiplayer maps? Uh, yeah? I'm... I'm personally, I'm okay with uh, doing that if you're, if you're okay to have me along again. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm not tall enough to get that on my own. You need to, you need to get up here with me and then climb on my head. Uh. I suppose <laughs> at least I'm here to stop you. <laughs> Meh. Nearly. I just Ooh, need to jump that a little bit sooner. Oh yeah, I keep jumping and catching that there. If it's in classic, I'll be able to do a bit better than that. No, I just tried to candy jump it. Ugh. Sod it. I'm going home. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if we're going to be able to get up there, but... Ugh. It's so close then. Whee! Eh, I'm still not tall enough. No? Jump. Oh, no! No. Let's just go. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. I was, I was thinking well, if I you jump, and then I could jump off your head while I was in midair. Yeah. Like but, as, yeah, as, as, far as, I can, as far as I can make of it, it's, I'm guessing because of how um, we're in one of the first areas that have got, like, proper inclement weather, this is something to do with a heat exchanger. That makes sense, yeah. At least one would assume. Pardon me, I there is something in there. Um, I think there might there's be. Something... I reckon it's just a big sauna. No, there's something. In, there's something that's on the, the grating skull. at the top. Yeah, that's the skull. Oh, is it? If you stand oh, okay. over here, you can see the bottom of its mouth. Like you see its sort of teeth. Oh yeah. Okay. Okay. Well, we'll have to come back and get there. If anyone wants to get it, it's in there. Just grow like eight foot tall, and you'll be able to get it. <laughs> right. Onward. And upwards. Yeah. Well, forwards, we can go upwards then. <laughs> dun, Welcome dun, to my world. <laughs> Alright, so disorienting. Okay. Oh, you're going to go for it. Is he going to do it? I'm Is probably he gonna not going to do it. Oh! oh, just short. Yeah, ain't that the truth. Okay, there we go. Boom. Ghost nice. got it in for me. Do you know it would have been kind of fun, given that we're doing this? We should have put the bandana skull on. At least give us infinite ammo. So we can just breeze through. It kind of takes some of the dynamic away, though. <sighs> yeah. Nom, 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 nom. Oh, here's one of your bodies from earlier. Was it? Where? Over here. Cidre, not cider. What cider have you got? What's your drink of choice today? Yeah. What's uh, what's uh, Distillation Zero Zero thinking? Uh, Copperberg today. Oh, can't beat a Copperberg. Here we go here. <laughs> Ooh. All good. Did that? Jesus, the Marine survived. Yeah, he's, he's a wily one. I've got the sniper rifle. Do you want to get the rocket launchers? <laughs> I'm trying to get a clear shot on this elite and I can just see you on top of a wraith. Oh. It laughed at me. I think I can see the driver. Really? Oh, uh, it might just be sparking. Yeah, I think it's just sparking. Try to grab the rocket launcher and we can, uh... When I reach Whoa! Me. Did you spawned yet? There you go. There we go. Okay, do you want to get in the passenger seat? Ooh, Sorry, that's Maria, the room for one.
Yeah. Halo. That's how we do. Oh. This marine's going for it, man. How do I re how do I bloody reload in this? You can't reload when you're in the car. Really? Yeah, you've got to like let it uh, reload manually. You can't like uh, reload on a half stock, like half stock mag. Oh. Whoa. Smush. <laughs> Time to take your <laughs> this marine in front of us following us. Bless him. Lowly. Okay, should we stock up by the pelican? If we can turn the car yes. around? Turn the ship around. Oh god. Do you want to take the tank? Okay, funnily enough, this pelican model uses the same model as Echo 419. There you go, I've got my divine intervention. Or uh, however many tons of it. Yeah, this Pelican uses the same one as Echo 419. The like, same model. It's got a call sign on the back. Alright. 66 tons of divine intervention. This here is 66 tons of divine intervention. What about that scarab? <laughs> we all run the simulations. They're, They're tough, tough, but they, but they ain't, ain't invincible. invincible. <laughs> Stay with the Master Chief. I don't know what to do. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for the tank. He never gets me anything. Do it, do it, say it, say it. Oh, I know what the ladies like. <laughs> there you go, guys. So that's our Halo 2 playthrough done. Hope you enjoyed. <laughs> <laughs> I like how instinctively we took flanking routes there. You went one way and I went a different way. Yeah. That's pretty, uh, pretty, pretty cool. Covenant placed their tanks to defend the entrance to the tunnel. We're, we're, we're getting used to each other's play styles, evidently, and, uh... Yeah. We're gonna become, like, a assist. Halo grave mind, like... Wow. Yep. <clears throat> Did you get the, the uh, tank? tank? The tank turret is ruthlessly Awful. inaccurate at range. It's... <laughs> 66 tons of potentially divine intervention. Why is that so bad? It's like, that is like, bang on the center of my target and reticle. I fire. Complete miss. The grunt turned around to look at that explosion and he was like, seriously? Hey. Got him. Okay, now there's a couple of hunters up ahead. Ooh. There's also a skull up there, I think, as well. Gotcha. I'll let you take out the hunters. Oh, was there a banshee? Yeah. There's another wraith up there somewhere. Up there? Uh, yeah, probably. Nice. It's not a lot to talk about, this cavern, really, other than the fact that it's probably... It's not a natural formation, I can tell you that. <laughs> to be fair, like I say, a lot, it, it's probably something to do with um, cooling, for, uh, cooling systems for the ring. Yeah, it's also transportation, given that we're traveling under a massive rock formation now to get to the other side. Yeah. Crazy how they don't have any double yellows. You can park here whenever you want. <laughs> for all you Americans, that means you can't park there. And for all you lazy drivers, that means you shouldn't park there. Okay, so... Let's see, so... Ah, yes, this big cavern. What do you think yes. the purpose of this one is? Well, unlike <clears throat> unlike the cavern we see in the first um, level on Halo, <clears throat> it doesn't have a, an energy bridge that spans the gap. So I wouldn't say that it's to do with compartmentalization or like, you know, quarantining and keeping areas independent of each other. Simply because they're it's a, it's, they're physically hard bridges, and it looks like one of the bridges has been just is that is that one actually been destroyed over there? As hasn't it? Over here, I don't think it was even <coughs> here. In the, oh yeah, no, no mind. That's uh, yep, it's it's Frog been destroyed. Yeah. Ribbit. Need a make it. 
I took out a ghost earlier, but the cost of uh, a bunch of health. <laughs> so yeah, it's it's. If I go over to this other side here, I'm pretty sure it's. Yeah. So there's actually a, there's actually the the other side of this bridge is missing here. So this bridge has fallen down at some point. Can you see the debris at the bottom? Um, I don't know. I'll have a look. I cannot see the debris at the bottom. That's my favorite type no. of cheese. And you've got a sniper, so in theory, you you would be able to see. Yeah. But there's also for anyone who's not collected it, the, the skull is here. Ah, unagi. And there's also when you collect that skull, the ladder is here, so you can actually walk back up. All the marines just ran over to me as soon as they got as soon as you got the tank. By the way, they're all over here. Yeah, they like you better than me. I don't know why. Yeah, I don't either. I kill them. <laughs> I don't know how much further I can go without falling off. <laughs> Not much further. <laughs> oh, here we go. Did you, oh! Did you land on the bridge? No. Nope. <laughs> okay, you sounded very sure of that. I wonder if I can get on that one. Yeah, there's definitely nothing down there. I've turned on my uh, night vision. Oh, there's a ladder here. Yeah, yeah. What the hell? That's what I'm saying. Well, yeah. I never noticed that that's before. How you, that's how you get the skull on the other side. You go down and get the skull, and then the ladder's behind it. You can climb back up. So the skull what is the? where you are there, but on the other side. All this time, I've never noticed this. Yeah. Like, 20 years, man. 20 years. Well, we do learn something new every day. I'm going, across, I'm going back. I want to look. Which How do you not know? What the hell? I'm not. I, I can't even call myself a Halo player that I don't know that. Uh, to be fair, I'm, I'd be surprised if uh, if uh, most people know about that. There's no reason for you really to go down there. Unless you're doing what exactly what we are doing. All of them have got it. Well, except yes. the ones that are like really close to the surface. Uh, so no, the do skulls you down. Do you is still it have this one? It is. See, this one still has a ladder. The short ones. So if you watch over here, the, the one that's over here, is it's still a ladder. You can still use it. Even if you... Uh, like here. Oh, this one, this really, really short one doesn't, sorry. But the one to the right over there does. Sergeant Johnson's just looking at me in amazement. So you were talking about how this um, how this can't be for co uh, compartmentalization. Yeah. Um, as a counterpoint, and probably a very stupid one, given that I am uh, not as well versed in Halo. A few episodes ago, you told me about um, how the foreigners during different uh, sort of times of I wouldn't say crisis, but sort of different times of uh, <sighs> material struggle. Um, they used um, physical uh, building blocks <coughs> as opposed to uh, hard light yeah. uh, due to its wider availability. Uh, could that be a possibility? Uh, yeah. In this case. Yeah, yeah, could be. I just, it would be, the question would be if it was for compartmentalization, how would they how would they separate these two sides of the cavern? I think I have the answer. Go on. Just shoot the rock. Blow up rock, let everything fall. Oh, that rocket's going on for a while, isn't it? Christ. Hey! Hey, there we go. I'll get taken out by a bloody stalactite now. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that was a long way up. Yep. If the Halo 1 sniper rifle had the uh, rangefinder on it, I could tell you exactly how far it was. It does not. I can't believe I didn't know. 
Let's see. That's something new every day, man. You're bewildered by this now, aren't you? Well, the thing in my head now is... Why? Why did they build this like this? Why do like you could you right you, you could ask two questions, one is within the law, one is not. The one that's not is why did the games designer decide this was necessary? Why did they make it so you could climb down here and walk along this pipe? What get what function does that give in gameplay? I think the I think the idea behind that, especially if you go back to classic, if you look at how in classic sort of barren this kind Peek of thing looks. <laughs> Peekaboo. If you look at how barren this kind of looks, um, players would be interested enough to jump down on these. Like, if you go back into Classic, so it's obviously put a set decoration, but then they realised, hang on, people might want to jump on these. And they were like, well, they shouldn't have to reset checkpoint for jumping on those. Let's add a way out. And logically, that uh, makes sense to me, because the way yeah. Bungie playtest is they, they playtest, and then they have uh, heat maps of... Um, where people got stuck in the game and then they use that to change that area so people don't get stuck which right. you can see in the Halo 3 uh, it's not like making of Halo 3 basically you can see mm. them doing that in that and uh, the <laughs> the guy who oversees all playtesters said it was the most stressful job because they have to watch people be idiots and like <laughs> not be good at Halo but um, I think that's probably the case in, in this situation yeah and then, obviously, the other question is, if if you think of it in a law perspective, why would the forerunners want a ladder that goes down to just a pipe when they have, like, anti-graphitic technology that allows them just to float down and have a look if they want? For the same reason that they have a bridge there. Fair comment. <laughs> yeah. I was just like, uh, I knew you were going to say anti-graphity. I was like, bridges. Yeah. But again, they may have anti gravitic technology, but if they've got ladders there, that also lends into the fact that this was built um, because they didn't have hard light materials available. It lends mm. into that fact they don't have hard light materials. They likely don't have anti-gravity um, capabilities because of sort of the materialistic uh, difficulties that they're ex experiencing. So it makes sense yeah. that they would... Um, you woke that crunt up. So it, ma it makes sense that they would... Well, I, 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 you'd expect as much if I went roaring past it with a tank. Yeah, he was trying to sleep, though. Come on, man. Oh, cool. Well, next time I'll, I'll kill him before he wakes up. No, next time, just get out the tank and beat him to death mercilessly. <laughs> Set that one on my phone. <laughs> yeah, I'm fine. I'm fine. It's good, it's good. <laughs> You want to talk about it? <laughs> I would like that. No, no. <laughs> it's all good. Man, it's this cave. This. Hmm. Do you reckon this one is a natural formation? I'm not, mm. saying, that, I'm not saying that for the meme. It's kind of natural, but fades away into an unnatural thing. Do you reckon this is what the original yeah. cave was meant to look like? This is probably what. Yeah. You're probably bang on there. This is probably how the original one was supposed to look. The one that Cortano, you know, really helpfully tells us is not a natural formation. Someone built it. It makes sense because the bottom is exactly what we see at the top of uh, the yeah. the cave entrance. Yeah. Bro, this grunt is ruined. Bam. Ruined his whole weekend. I see the wraith off in the distance. Right, Wraith's dead. <laughs> Who got the kill? Uh, I have no idea. Oh, shoot at me. Oh, it's more elites. Oh. Ooh. Well, hey, well done, Johnson. What did he do? He's got a sniper rifle. He just like no. I think he pretty much just no scoped an elite. 
I saw that camo loot, you can't hide from me. <laughs> That's a good angle of that. That was weird, I just heard you, I just heard your um, camo get applied, even though I'm nowhere near you. Yeah, it's just a bug, I think. But what does it mean in law? Ooh. Um, oh, Spartans that's, are telepathic. That's no, it's just, I'm like a, it's like a fight club scenario. Like, I'm part of your imagination. It's just you doing all this, but it's someone else. Spoilers for anyone who hasn't seen Fight Club. <laughs> See, this is another prime example of a building that... <laughs> I think I think this building is, is literally to do with the, the, um, the weather systems. Yeah, the more I think sense. about it. Because it's literally just an empty bloody building all the way to the top. Yeah. I mean, it's empty all the way below you. You've got this single glowing pillar that turns to a pipe that just disappears into... Oh no, so two pillars that turn into a pipes that just disappear into a wall. And then all of that cavernous space above you. Like, it must be a form of heat exchanger. It's like a giant radiator. If you look at the walls as well, they're actually the same ones as the area earlier where we thought the wall was, um, or the dome, in classic at least, uh, where the where we thought the dome was like uh, a, a part of the weather system. Yeah. So the fact that they're the same texture leans into that. I mean, I'd go far, so far to say is that the 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 style of the of the walls up there look a little bit like the walls in Cold Storage, the Halo 3 map. Yeah, I can see that. So it makes sense that this is something to do with, you know, cooling or a heat exchanger or something to do with that. Yeah, I can definitely see that. So the reason why this place is snowy is because the equipment or buildings that are featured in the area are... Well, they're changing the weather. Yeah. And they don't seem to be malfunctioning, as Cortana suggests. So it appears that the designers did want it to uh, have inclement weather, which also ties back into the second episode of this, where you talk about 343 Gilly Spark faffing about with uh, the weather systems on the Halo ring, just to sort of yeah. amuse himself. So it would make sense why this place is extremely... Um, snowy and it's more of an extreme weather type um, overkill okay don't cut to my screen there I just missed like three shots on a grunt um I will definitely not cut. You're just gonna take my audio of me saying that and just have it fading in the background in black and white with like hair by Johnny Cash playing on you. As <laughs> <laughs> I just miss on a borderline galactic scale. Oh, move out of the way, Marine. I just killed you, you bloody idiot. That's his Did fault. I... Oh, no, well, I didn't. No, that was that was me killing the grunt. Oi! Right, I'm just covering the flank. Double kill. Triple kill. Overkill. Um... When we get to reach, by the way, if you're okay with just giving me a little bit, I'm going to plug in my... I'm going to figure out if there's a way I can use my Bluetooth earphones. Yeah. On console. I don't think there will be, to be honest. Let's find him. But I just kind of want to have a little bit faff about with that. If I can't, tough shit, I guess. But we shall find out. What are you doing just punching the air? I'm enjoying the music. <laughs> oh, right, yeah, I, I can't hear the music. Oh. 
Well, not again. Does yeah, that grunt to that poor grunt before. Yeah, grunts will shout not again when they get stuck. My favorite, my favorite grunt line is uh, "Feet don't fail me now." That's honestly, it's up there. It's one of the greats. Not again. Does that imply that grunts like regularly get stuck? Either they can recover from being stuck and, and being blown up. Or that Grunt's consciousness trans uh, like that that like basically it, it confirms that Grunt's have reincarnation. <laughs> Hive mind. Marines, hold your positions. We'll handle those <coughs> Oh Christ. Good sentai. Bloody Banshee up there as well. Oh, was a ghost? Look at him, Tokyo drifting. Oh, Those two ghosts. Oh, that was unreal. Right. The turret that was shooting at me over here, I grenaded from back there, killed the banshee, turned back around, and the turret got blown up. Like my grenade landed over here and blew it up in the time it took me to kill banshee, and look how it landed. Nice. <laughs> Covenant unexpectedness. That's a very brown wall, isn't it? <laughs> it's the uh, it's the poop wall. Mom found the poop wall. Ah, <laughs> 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 oh, that's nasty. What is this dude's plasma rifle? There it is. Nope, that's a needler. Look how many found marines are following me. Just found two hidden elites just stealthing away down here. Oh, cool. I've got a platoon following me, by the way. I've got like nine marines following me. You are the Master Chief. No, seriously, look. And I'm coming. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, about nine or ten. <laughs> this is Northern as well. Those two that went missing a second ago. They just went AWOL down the road. Yeah, there he is. He's coming back. We saved a lot of Marines. Should we kill him? Why, 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 why did your brain go straight there every time? <laughs> I don't know. Funny. <laughs> you guys are going to be awesome floods, uh, fl um, flood combat forms. You really are. Yeah, that's a good point. I'm putting them out the misery if you think about it. Should we kill One, them? One, two, three, four. You really want to kill them, don't you? I mean, it's up to you. Wait Shall until they group together. Alright, I'll stand in the middle and sacrifice myself. I'll pull them away from you. Are you literally just going to stand in the middle of them and then blow yourself up? Mm, I see how that could be perceived wrong by the community, so I'm just going to do it now. There we go. See, you call it friendly fire, I call it a target rich environment. I hurt myself today. There we go. If you need any ammo, by the way, I think I've found some. <laughs> uh, I kind of feel bad after that. Ah, uh, potato, potato. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Ooh. Yeah, it's so disorienting, isn't it? Like, you're never going to get More used grunties. to it. Two, three, And like, like four. I say... I mean, in terms of law, yeah, I feel I feel bad for killing those guys, but in terms of gameplay, they're not going to use the ammo. We don't go back out there again. <laughs> that, that, that was that bullet skimmed past me. That was amazing. I was waiting for you to move out the way. Like you can see, I had the shot lined up for like a good uh, a good couple of seconds, and I was just trying not to shoot you. Overkill. Right, I can't wait till we get to uh, Nightfall on Halo Reach as well. That's going to be interesting. Because mm. it gets to. The topic gets to uh, shift from um, talking about foreigner stuff to talking about human stuff. 
and colonization in that sense, and you know, farmers yeah. and uh, the planet Reach as well, which I actually know very little about. So, apart from what happens in the game. Hmm. Well, I I do know a little bit about Reach, so that'll be fun. Bloody hope so. It's part of your branding. <laughs> <laughs> you are literally the Halo man. You're going first on that bloody thing. I insist. Oh! Did you die? Yep. <laughs> I think there's a jackal up here, right? Yeah, there is. Yeah, and I'm gonna melee him. Hello. Bloody hell, you do lean into that, don't you? Did I tell you that my parents watched this? Uh, the, the first episode of this. Do they? Uh, yeah, I was in the kitchen making breakfast, and uh, I heard just like this familiar voice in the conservatory. You, th you thought I'd come round for like an impromptu visit? Well, it's not so much that you'd come round for an impromptu visit, it's more so the fact you were talking to my parents about the fucking honeycomb like pattern of uh, the Pillar of Autumn. <laughs> that sort of... Uh, I heard that and I was like, my dad watching Halo stuff. And I went through, and they were like, oh, uh, we were just uh, watching the video you did, because I told them about it. I told them, you know, uh, I just, yeah, I kind of need a, as few distractions as possible, if that's okay, essentially. Yeah. And they were like, okay, cool. Um, and they, they, they watched the uh, the episode. And, um, I mean, my dad enjoyed it. He didn't have a clue what was going on. He's more of the uh, the old Tomb Raider kind uh, yeah. of games. Doesn't really play them that Back much. In the day. Yeah. And we're doing what he used to do on Tomb Raider. He used to love going around and exploring. My mom used to love watching him uh, explore Tomb Raider, and that's what we're doing here. Cool. I always thought these were like these were like access ways that the flood would come out of the the, the Halo ring because obviously back in the day I didn't really know that the, the flood were contained within flood research facilities. I thought they were just like lurking in the ring and they were always there and they just came out when they realised there was life. But um. Now I realise these are probably just access ways for monitors and yeah, and it I mean it does look ominous and green down there in classic. Yeah, yeah. To be fair, yes, it's the use of green light. I think that's all it is. The second that there's a green light involved in Halo, I'm like, yep, blood. It can't just be <laughs> green. No, it's going to be like that sort of uh, sickly baby shit green. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, that's baby the baby shit green. That's, I don't know what to call it, but you know exactly what I mean by yeah, that, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah. It's it's even definitely not who have, sage. And anyone who's played Halo, even if they haven't had a baby, knows what baby shit green is. Yeah, it's like a uh, mucus kind of color. Yeah. Yeah, sort the inside of, uh, of an infected sinus. Yeah. <laughs> we just <coughs> running around back and forth. Uh, yeah, it's another one of those rooms from earlier. That has the yes. uh, steam in the middle. With the uh, sauna up top. Yeah. Again, it just it makes sense that this basically this entire level there's uh, oh, hello uh, <laughs> that there's just sh shed loads of like heat exchangers and environment control systems basically. Okay, I was gonna say should Double we do bridge. the skip here, but I think what we could do is because the next room is very similar to the ones we've just been through, just blast through it and have something kill it. Just shoot yeah. the shit for a couple minutes. Pew, yeah. So uh, how's your Ow. day been today, man? Yeah, fine. Yeah, did some editing. Nice. Um, recorded the script for a new video on the history of, of the ODSTs and where they where they sort of originated from. Will that be up by the time this video is out? Uh, it will be. Yeah, I'd imagine so. I, uh, so if you ha if you haven't seen it already, I insist you can that link you... that actually. Put that in the description. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I retrospectively. Uh, yeah. God, I hate I that. Retrospectively, direct your attention to the um. The video on the origin of the ODSTs because it it ties in quite nicely with our real world histories. I can imagine that, given again their origin. Oh, dude, best weapon of the game. The pistol. The hand cannon. Yeah, the uh, the god launcher. The pocket rocket. He, <laughs> he's everywhere. Oh uh, yeah, I love the grunts dialogue in this game. So I think it's all Joe Staten, right? Yeah, yeah. All the grunts in um in in Halo CE were Joe. I think they brought on somebody else or a couple of other people for Halo Two grunts. 
Did the Damo do it for Halo 2? I feel like he'd have a very grunty voice. He, yeah, because it's because he's good. Yeah, he, he pro he, I'm sure he had at least yeah a couple of lines for a grunt dialogue. You stuck that grunt with a frag grenade. How? That just landed on his belly and stayed there and then detonated. Oh my god, that's awful. Aim. Help me, Obi Wan Kenobi. <laughs> 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 we're safe, we're safe, we got it. <laughs> All fine, everything fine. Situation normal. I'm not exactly sure what this room is. Neither am I, but you fit in, like, snugly on top of this. <laughs> it's like when you put, like, uh, like the cereal box back, like, sort of in the, in the cupboard or, on, like, in the corner of the kitchen and it fits in nice and snug. Yeah. It's like an oddly specific kind of snug, but it's good. Uh, okay, original graphics. Mm, again, it's this stupid... It's, this, it's the lighting. Makes me think maybe this was a flood experimentation area. With this many windows? Well, they could probably seal it off, to be fair. Yeah, possibly. Don't know. Except, you know... Current graphics make it look just like it's a massive blast plate that perhaps opens in some mysteri mysterious way. Yeah. It's the same blast plate, actually, I think, that's on this. Oh, no, these are on every ceiling. Those blast plate-looking things are on every... every ceiling of these rooms that we've been in. That blast plate has been cool. there, because it's similar to the hole where, again, the cannon fires or the... the the comms tower, or whatever it is, the big tower boy. Yeah. Oh, and there's, for anyone who's not noticed, those two hunters on the other side of the bridge have been hunting you this entire time. Hmm. But, uh, you just don't see them until now. Ah. Wait, you dead? Nope. Wait, did you I'm jump over? The hunters. Oh no! I got him. It's I okay. I killed the Revenge. hunter. <laughs> if those are, if those marines were still down there, then my ragdoll body would have just landed on their faces. Imagine that. You're like, okay, we've. You, like, I can't go home and tell my kids that I worked with the Master Chief, THE Master Chief, the Halo guy. Before you're promptly crushed by his the player 2. Yeah. <laughs> falling from, uh... Falling yeah, from, like, like, geosynchronous orbit. It's like there's a rookie, like, like literally a, a, like a fresh out of, um, out of boot camp, um, marine on that, on that force. And he's like, oh my god, this is the Master Chief on my very first mission. And then he sits and thinks, oh, I successfully escorted the Master Chief to the base of this tower. The w he's going to save the world, he's going to go up there, he's going to kick all the aliens' asses, he's gonna everything's going to be okay. And then it literally, as he finishes that sentence, Chief's body just goes, <laughs> boom, next to him. Yeah, it just, <laughs> it's like, it just crumbles. Okay, we're fucked. It just becomes a stain <laughs> on the side of Insulation 04. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's alarming. Yeah, so this is, see, it's got that sort of weird plate on the top. Oh, this one looks bigger, actually. That's yeah. much bigger. That is much bigger. Mm. I will go back and get a screenshot of this room, sort of like from this corner, if possible. Like this angle. So I'm just going to take a screenshot in game real quick. Okay. Screenshot that so I can go back on uh, onto that mission and just see if I can... If it's the same. It looks so similar, but it feels so much more spacious than the other one. The other one feels a lot yeah. more cramped. Right, so... Would you say... No. Okay. I'm glad, <laughs> I'm glad, I'm glad we cleared that up. <laughs> would you say that looks like it's been put there as a block, or would you say it's just kind of part of the... That oh, fits water. way too perfectly. Look how flush that is there. Like, it matches the angle so perfectly. 
that has a purpose for sure. Yeah. So it has. What well, first? How did it get put there? Bob's a builder. Considering, considering that they're kind of phased through each other. And two, why would they purposefully block off access around this area? Um, you know what? I, I genuinely couldn't tell you. Um, yeah, I mean, that's replicated over here, but that block is just not there. Do you reckon it's, again... Compartmentalization. Yeah, forcing forcing things to only move a certain direction around things. Yeah. Well, not even so much that. Like the implication here is that it can be placed there. It's obviously come from somewhere. But if you look over here, like you've got the exact same shape, just missing the block. Yeah. So I mean, I think maybe it is just. Maybe you're right. Yeah. Maybe it's just a case of playing mind games with the flood. It's either that or they, they can be... Because that's kind of phased into that bit. I know in Halo 4, some hard light structures can be kind of phased in and out of existence. So unless there's a way to actually phase these in and actually lock something in an area. Yeah, I mean, in Bungie law, compartmentalization works. But if you are to follow current law of Halo, yeah. then that would make a lot of sense as well, yeah. Oops. It's uh, missing missing texture there, look. So on this side, look, you've got like a little metal thing inside this glass here that oddly I can shoot oh, yeah. even through the glass. And yet on this side... I don't think you're still... shooting that, by the way. No, your decal's oh. on the outside. Oh, okay. Okay, are we ready for... Oh! Yes. That went well. There's another one on the left. Got him. Nice. There's a camo here as well, if you want it. No, I'm good. Okay, I'll go with that. Oh, actually, you might be able to use that camo to go get that second banshee. Ooh, yeah. Yeah, do that. Okay. Right, I'm going to just try and sort of run my way through this. Okay, you're going to warp to me now. You're not going to be happy about it. Oh, that's right. Go for it. There you go. There we go. Oh, they're shooting at me. Structure. Yep, got the second man sheet. Sweet. Whew. I'm also looking forward to getting to Halo 3 and revisiting, oh, so yes. to speak, this area. Hell yeah. I'm going to spend a lot of time in Halo 3. The control room here is, although there have been some changes made, very similar to the control room we see in Halo 3. Yes, indeed. Even the, uh, even the crack in the floor down there, actually, as well. Yeah. Which is a terminal in, by the way. Yep. Uh, we haven't picked that up yet, wink wink. Um, <laughs> but yeah, it's just down here for anyone who's wondering. It's down here. I also love that the Banshee can actually, like... Hover? That's hover, such a nice feature. If you look down, you can actually reverse it and gain altitude. Oh, yeah. Wow, that grunt's dead. There it is. It has been 26 hours since the sentience landed in Sector 1215. And so far, they have not attempted to exit the remains of their vessel. 
I say remains, because their landing was either not executed adequately, or this vessel lacked significant maneuvering capability. The visible portions of the vessel have suffered catastrophic structural damage during the violent landing experience. I have detected atmospheric leaks in 17 distinct locations along the hull. My analysis shows that the mixture of gases coming from the ship matches the natural atmosphere on my installation almost exactly. Perhaps the occupants, if they still live, were originally cataloged here. Perhaps these beings will confirm that the plan was successful and that the galaxy has returned to its proper cadence. I am beyond optimistic. But I do not understand why these sentients have not attempted to exit their vessel. Other than the leaking atmosphere, the only thing emanating from this wreckage is an automated distress call. I am currently translating this automated broadcast, but with such a limited data set and no direct communication, I do not anticipate full comprehension. Given the short-range nature of this craft, it is likely that other vessels are nearby. But, in accordance with procedure, I am blocking the distress call. No communication of the location of any installation is permissible. I admit great curiosity about these visitors. While the plan is quite clear about procedure for this situation, I have my doubts. How many failure points can the plan sustain before blind adherence becomes counterproductive? Surely, in light of all that has changed, I should be able to modify my responses to adapt it. No. I have duties. And I have a terrible cargo here. I must be sure. I shall obey and content myself to monitor. I hope they come out soon, though. So many questions to ask. So many questions. good it's very nice <laughs> i haven't had that for a long time i haven't had that since uh, russell howard's good news <laughs> very nice that's alarming how well you do that well you know he's, he's on the news so bloody often okay so what we're going to do is we're going to do a little thing at the end cutscene here uh where we bring a banshee into the final room what shampoo do you use? Well, I, don't, I obviously don't know what shampoo I use. All I know is that it's 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 blue. <laughs> <laughs> Bloody hell! How's he running a country, man? Anyway, uh, so let's let's not get into politics. Let's no, avoid no, 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 that. no, Let's let's avoid that. Like the logic plague. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, so wait, 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 wait. There's a siege of Madrigal. Oh, I haven't got this yet. I think it's, is it here? I think it's here, or is it higher up? Let me check. It might be here. Banshee, if you fall, I will be so mad. Do you hear anything? No. Maybe it's the next one up. Is it on the right for sure, yeah? I think so. Man, the Banshee's got such a cool design. F this will be a nice juicy episode for people. Yeah. There it is. Have you got it? Yeah, you got the achievement for that. Yeah, I did, yeah. Nice. Can you hear it or not? I, 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 I can't hear it, no. Question. But Sorry. <laughs> but no, I got the achievement for it, so I'm familiar with Cedro Madrigalo. That's um Did I say that right? I am familiar with Siege of Madrigal. Eh, yeah, probably said it right. Um Yeah, I am familiar with that though for the Hill Three uh Siege of Madrigal thing. Should we uh, get Banshee into the final room then, yeah? Yeah. That'd be kinda of funny. Control room looks beautiful from up here. Wow. 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 <laughs> <laughs> wow. 
Oh, do you know what's actually even funnier that I've just noticed? What? There is actually a dent in the wall over here where you exit in Halo 3. This is where you come what? out, over here. It's this massive area here. It's oh, where yeah. you exit in Halo 3. Next to the waterfall, yeah. Yeah. Which is frozen over, by the way. Yeah. That's so nice, though. That looks so beautiful. Good use of chat so, uh, textures, though. So that means that the area you come out of shouldn't shouldn't be there. Obviously, it's because the halo is unfinished that you come through there. Which yes. means that there is a phase pulse generator. Right about here, but on a platform lower down? Yeah, but behind this wall somewhere. And oh. there should be a terminal near it as well. Well, up where I am, here. It's Where roughly in line. If you look up and left, face pulse generators through here. And uh, over here. Left a bit more, and then up. Hang on. I need to get perspective here. Ah, yeah. Yeah, so that's... That's about right, just it's a bit too high up, that's it. It's a bit too high up, yeah, but... Hey, we, we did say, you know, designs change very slowly from one to the other, and it may be just through optimizations of the design and things like that. Yeah, that's also like true. It, as, from a law point of view, as in like the 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 forerunner system or the monitor decided to optimize the design and think, oh, this is actually a better place to put so it. Gonna like spice it up and move it by two meters. Wow. Right. Okay. So you up here? Uh, yeah, I'm up here. So if you want to activate the door, and then we'll clear this next area out, and then we activate the last wow. door, but one of us stays in the banshee while the other person activates the door. Whoa, that leap went for you! Oh, whoa! Sly boy. Feisty one you are! It would be really funny for continuity. What? If in Reach we both equipped, like, Mark V armor. <laughs> Uh, someone has just added me on, uh, Discord. I don't know if that's going to come through, but... If it does come through, haha, you checked your Discord. <laughs> okay. So, I'll hit the button. You just fly in the middle there. Uh, don't do it just yet. Um, when you get to about here, I'll press the button. Just fly down, Okay. and I'll press the button when it's ready. It's going to work. <laughs> it nudged hey. me. I timed it just wrong. I needed to time it a bit earlier so you'd hit me with the uh, hit me with the banshee because you can actually splatter me with that. So in the cutscene, yeah. I'll be dead and he'll just T-pose when he gets to where Cortana is now. <laughs> also, if you look, the corridors are different to how they are in 3 as well. Yeah. yeah the Same of the base structure but different layout. <clears throat> we are at the control center. Indeed, we are. <sighs> and we are on the cusp of discovering the hidden secret of the Halo. This is a hot question. Did the Pillar of Autumn randomly find Halo? No. No, it didn't. Okay. Cortana actually, Cortana actually plot made the the not so random slip space jump. So as per the coal protocol, any ship that um, is jumping away from a colony that's being invaded by the Covenant has to jump on a random slip space vector, so as not to lead the Covenant to Earth or any other colony. Um, and then once they drop out of slip space at the other end, they then reorientate and then navigate for another slip space jump to get to a colony, basically. Um, Cortana made a not-so-random slip space jump based on information that she gained from the foreigner stru um, structure underneath um, Oni Sword Base, uh, as well as some other um, other information that she'd um, gleaned from relics and things that had been found from Sigma Octanus 4. Um, she found the, the, the coordinates and then decided to make the jump. And when she came out the other end, there was a halo. Okay, there we go. 
That's just a bit so, yeah. of information. Someone was asking in the uh, the dreaded glyph chat. So oh, I yeah. just typed up as you uh, as you said that. Yeah. So um yeah, right. Well, that's uh, the assault in the control room completed. And yep. join us next time for the most guilty. dreaded of levels. Yeah, guilty well, no, I suppose it's not the most. It's just like the second most dreaded of, dreaded of levels. Yeah. Yeah. Funnily enough, the two uh, worst levels come right after one another. Yeah. Yeah. So Gee. yeah, join us when we uncover the secrets of the flood. Okay. Nice. Wow.